Hello friends. So we have been enjoying iOS 14 public beta or developer beta from couple of months and now it is time to shift to iOS 14 commercial version which is stable version and which will be available to everyone. So it is very easy to do that. Now I'm going to show you how you can do that. Now this is my primary iPhone and I am running iOS 14 public beta on this iPhone. I'll be switching to iOS 14 commercial version today and to do that what you want to do is you want to go to settings and you want to delete this iOS 14 public beta profile from your iPhone. I'll show you how to do that but before that let me show you what software update I have available right now. So this is the iOS 14 Gold Master available for install right now but I am not installing it. As you can see I can download and install this update right away but I am not doing that. What I am going to do is I am going to go ahead delete the public beta profile from my iPhone and to do that you want to head over to general and then scroll all the way down and look for this profiles option and then you should see this iOS 14 public beta profile. Now here you want to tap on this remove profile option and then enter your iPhone lock screen passcode. Once you do that you want to hit on this remove option and then it says restart required. Your iPhone needs to restart. So let's hit restart option. And there you go. Now let's go ahead into settings and check if you have that software update available. As you can see I do not have any software update available because I just deleted the iOS 14 public beta profile from my iPhone right now. Now when Apple releases iOS 14 commercial version tonight I'll be getting the update and I can switch back to iOS 14 commercial version from my iOS 14 public beta software. So that's how easy it is to do that. Now if you have already installed Gold Master iOS 14 version on your iPhone, you will not get the commercial iOS 14 update tonight. But if you follow this procedure which I showed you right now, you will get the iOS 14.1 update. So you just want to wait until Apple releases iOS 14.1 and then you can switch back to iOS 14 commercial version. So that's how easy it is to switch from iOS 14 public beta or developer beta to iOS 14 commercial version. I hope this was helpful. Hit that like button as a token of appreciation and thank you so much for watching. See you in the next one.